Ikora tells me that Commander somebody, uh, I don't care, has a plan to attack the so-called Almighty. A plan unsupported by any data. However, there are remnants of an old interplanetary defense network here. We shall use it to assess the Almighty's capabilities. Then, we will tell Zavala precisely why his plan is wrong. And oh, I will relish that. Meanwhile, I refuse to squander valuable research opportunities. Therefore, you shall be my assistant. Go. All this talk wastes my time. As we all know, Zavala plans to attack the Almighty. Typical Titan idiocy. I'm sure he thought, Ah, Gaul has a Sun Destroyer. I don't need a plan. I'll simply headbutt it. It's desperation, Asher. Zavala has forgotten he might die his final death. Head toward the heart of the energy mining operation, Guardian. We'll use a war mind, part of an interplanetary defense network, to scan the Almighty. I think we're close, but so are the Taken. Vex, too. Aid them no heed, Assistant. You and I can deal with them later. <sighs> We found another drill. This one's big. Really big. Good. That drill pierced an entrance to the war mine vault. The scanner's inside. Gotcha. Let's find the drill controls and get it out of the way. <laughs> Got the power going, but the drill is still in our way. Ah! What a gloriously irritating commitment to safety standards. There has to be a manual override somewhere in that base. I find it incredible that those myopic Red Legion ignorami did not realize they were drilling directly into a war mine vault. Stranger things happen every day. I'm detecting a spike in paracausal energy. Sterile neutrino particles have quintupled. He means watch out for the Taken. You should hire a translator, Asher. I think we've got the drill going. Good. Return to the drill site and get into the Warmind vault. I am eager to discredit Vu Vu Zela's plan to attack the Almighty. So, what's a war mind, exactly? It's a kind of artificial intelligence, designed to defend humanity against the unknown. Whoa, the drill's on. What? Lift it up before it collapses the war mind vault! Finally, let's get down to the vault. On our way into the vault. This will be rich. I will ask Zavala, can you tell me in Zeta Jewels the Almighty's expected destructive capacity? And he will say, no, Asher, I cannot, because I am a reckless fool. Ignore Asher. Find the war mine. Reconnect it to the network, and we'll handle the rest.
reconnecting to the Warmind network to begin a remote scan. Yes. We can see the connection coming online. Hang on. We've got Taken. <sighs> How's the scan going? Orly, the Almighty is inextricably bound to the harmonic resonance of the sun's magnetic flux tubes. What? If Savala blows up the Almighty, it'll take the sun with it. It's time I rejoined my fire team. Tell me again, Speaker. What makes your guardians worthy of the light? What is the price of such power and immortality? Devotion, self-sacrifice, death. Death. Explain. Devotion inspires bravery. Bravery inspires sacrifice. Sacrifice leads to death. So, feel free to kill yourself. Devotion. Sacrifice. I was born an outcast. A runt. As is custom with the Cabal, I was cast aside and left for dead. I was taken in by an old scholar himself disgraced, who saw in me something redeemable. He raised me, taught me, trained me. And in return, I would become a vehicle for his revenge against an empire that failed him, that failed itself. Rejection, ridicule, torment. It made me stronger. I gave everything to win, not just acceptance, but glory. My mask, Speaker, is the face of devotion and sacrifice. I will not take the light by force. To do so would be to admit failure. And I never fail. Now, do you see why I will be chosen? I see now. I see all that you have done. Our operation on the Jovian Room was a success. Once the cage is complete, we will have everything we need to begin the process of extracting the light. Dominus, everything we've worked for is here, for the taking. All that remains is your word. No. This is not the way, old friend. But it is the way. The only way. Not for me. So really what you're saying is, we're damned if we do, damned if we don't. On the contrary, 
Now that we are together again, we just might stand a chance. The fact is, if we destroy that weapon, we will ignite a chain reaction that could send our son into a supernova. Well, at least we have each other. Indeed. We all know what needs to be done. The Traveler must be freed. I'm thinking the three of us and a big fat pile of explosives can get the job done. Look, I still have that Vex teleporter. It's got a limited range, so we'll have to get a little too close for comfort. Then we get inside the city walls for it to be effective. But without the light, an outright assault on the wall is doomed to fail. We could... There will be no coming back. It's worth it. How do we get in? You know, the city wall is kind of like this barn. Plenty of places to slip in unseen, so long as you know how. You sure you're not one of my hunters? <laughs> not really into capes. Clearly. Nice poncho. You need to get your team into the city without raising any alarms. My people and I can help you do that. We also happen to be pretty good at shooting bad guys. Hawthorne, it's one thing for us to put our lives on the line, but this doesn't have to be your fight. You're not a... A guardian? You think you've cornered the market on sacrifice? You forget that we've had to survive without the light all our lives. Once upon a time, that big white ball in the sky was there for all of us. I think it's about time we return the favor, guardians or not. That's great speech and all, but let's not forget about the whole supernova and complete annihilation thingy. If we can't destroy the Almighty, we'll have to disable its weapon. And that means getting a certain guardian on board. We'll need a good disguise if we're going to fly right through a Cabal Armada. If it's a Cabal ship you need, there's a base nearby full of them. But it won't be easy sneaking in. Oh, we're done sneaking. If there's one thing I've learned from Cade, it's the value of a grand entrance. This is great. Anyone want a hug? Hugs? No? No hugs. Head down. No, I... Remember that Cabal base round the way? One of Gaul's buddies runs it. Bloodguard by the name of Thumos. We know he's got access to the Almighty. So you crash the base, steal Thumos's ship, use it to sneak aboard the Almighty, and shut it down before it can blow up our sun. Do me a favor. Put Thumos down while you're at it. When you give the signal, we move on the city. Take it back. Gotta say, I really didn't think you'd come back from your interplanetary jaunt, much less with a vanguard by your side. Look at us. Red Legion doesn't stand a chance. You ever figure procrastination is your brain's way of stopping you from making a terrible mistake? Yeah, me too. See, I volunteered to set up our patrol network, and I haven't done it yet. Because what if I screw it up, you know? It's so important. We use that network to run ops all over the system. Supply runs, recon, you name it. So I'm thinking, what am I going to do? But here you are. So competent, so diligent, so ready to do things the right way. I guess what I'm trying to say is, save me from myself. So make it worth your while. As of today, I'm reauthorizing strike operations. Strikes will serve as the backbone of our defense against our enemies, present and future. We'll hunt down priority targets, gather intelligence on our enemies, and undermine plots against humanity. I'm counting on you to show everyone, guardian and civilian alike, what courage really looks like. But this isn't a solo detail. You'll need a dependable fire team to back you up. And what is it that Cage says? Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> Get out there and make us proud. Farewell. Losing the light was devastating. We were careless. I was careless. I took my power for granted. Never again. Wherever you go, seek out experiences that truly challenge you. Force yourself to grow. Never be satisfied. If anything dares to come between you and the light, destroy it. Let every victory sharpen your mind and body. And show our enemies 
a guardian's wrath. Tough road ahead, so I'm sending in holiday with something special. Are we talking Gallahorn special or an Akora philosophy lesson special? Just keep moving. Storm the facility and board that cabal carrier. No matter the cost, we must get to the Almighty. So, Zavala, I gotta ask you something. When you told our guardian friend here, and I quote, I need K, did you by any chance happen? Right. Holiday, what's your status? Let the record show. No denial. Still a couple clicks out, Commander. This girl's heavy. You might recognize this beauty from your near-death experience in the Arcology. You got us a tank. You got them a tank? How come I never got a tank? You know you just break it. Holler my way if you need another one of these armored beauties. Plenty more where that came from. Oh, so I get nothing. And they get as many as they want. I see how it is. Don't think we're going to be able to shoot our way through that door. The override should be nearby. Heads up! That carrier's spinning up its engines. You might want to pick up the pace. Tumos is on that carrier. He has what you need to infiltrate the Almighty. Move! Of course the Red Legion have tanks too. Well, they've retracted the bridge. We're not going to be able to cross that gap. Oh, your super tank can't fly? Oh. There's probably a way to extend the bridge. Let's find the control room. That should give us a way across. So, if it wasn't to give me a tank, why did you send our favorite guardian to find me? Your the high risk, high reward combat maneuvers can be effective and inspirational. Well, yeah, but with a tank, they could be like a million times more inspirational. Uh, we're almost out of the tunnels and coming up on the carrier. Good. The only thing standing between you and the Almighty is through mostly unbroken. He's a blood god, one of Gaul's chosen. The Red Legion will die for him. Why don't you help them with that? shielding the carrier. Wait, see those generators? We need to take them out if we're going to board that carrier. One generator down. Down, but the ship's about to launch without us. Keep that carrier on the ground. A couple missiles up its tailpipe ought to do the job. The carrier's grounded. Now let's find Thumos. Good work, Gotti. And Cade. After this is over, I'll talk to Holiday about your tank. Oh, I missed you too, buddy. Here we go. We're in the carrier. Good. Your target is Thumos the Unbroken, one of Gaul's chosen. 
The key codes to his ship are your ticket to the Almighty. Hawthorne had a run-in with him while you were off planet. They're known as the Blood Guard for a reason. I tell you to be careful, but that didn't help the last team I sent out. Find the command deck, and you'll find Thumos the Unbroken. And you'll break him. The bridge should be above us. Let's find a console and dig up the schematics. Okay, I've got the map. Let's find Thumos. Just try hopping on that ship. We do this all the time. Careful out there. The team I lost to Thumos, they were good people. Some of my best. Our guardian can handle it, Hawthorne. It's what we do. It's what you did. Last I checked, without the light, you and me, not so different. Ah, the door is sealed. Look around. There's always another way in. Checking the schematics. Got it. Use that vent. It should lead us back to where we need to be. Wish I could be out there with you. Pull the trigger myself. For my team. Your time will come, Hawthorne. I'm counting on it. We're almost to the hangar. By now, Thumos will know you're coming for it. Expect a welcoming party in there. Holiday, are you in range for an assist? Swinging back around. Gotta shake a couple of these red uglies off my tail first. Someone order backup? Haha, <laughs> you better run! Take care of Thumos for us. 